Hello, my dear students, and welcome to our today's class. I do hope you are doing perfectly fine. And kindly welcome to our today's class. We are going to progress on from where we stopped yesterday. And yesterday we are talking about the tips of coming up with an effective healing. But today we are going to go a notch higher. We are going to communicate with some latest stories about different types of healing that you can use when you are covering a story or else when you are disseminating your article to your targeted audiences. There are different types of headlines that you can be able to use when you are compiling a story or else when you are coming up with a story that you have to disseminate at your targeted audiences. I've just highlighted a few of them. We have indirect headline, we have direct headline, we have the banner headline, we have the kicker headline, we have the hammer headline, we have the boxed headline, we have the jump headline, we have the blanket headline, and we have the screamer. We are going to begin from the first type of a headline, what you call the indirect headline. Now you're going to find that the main purpose of coming up with indirect headline, most of you are using an anecdotal format of writing a story, or is an anecdotal format of compiling a new story, whereby you are not going to come up with a direct link of your headline that is connected to your story. You can come up with a headline that is narration in form, whereby the reader have to go through the story for them to be able to contextualize the actual meaning of what you are talking about. Still, you can use a direct headline whereby you can go direct to the, to the point of what you want to disseminate your targeted audiences or is what you want to inform your targeted audiences. So you call it a direct headline. Still you have what is called a banner headline. Uh, number third, or is point number three. And they are saying that a banner headline spreads across eight columns and they are used rarely on important occasion to send a signal that something very important has happened. Whereby, when you are coming up with a banner headline, your headline is going to cut across all the eight col uh, columns of a newspaper, from the first column to the eighth column of a newspaper. And we are saying that the main purpose of coming up with a banner headline is whereby you want to communicate a prominent story, probably let's say a prominent personnel has died, and you want your targeted audiences to be able to read the whole story. Or else, you are talking about an incident that is affecting many people at the same time, or else it is, has an impact to every member of the society. You are going to use what is called a banner a banner headline. Still, we have what is called a kicker headline. Uh, point uh, number D or S D, and they are saying conventionally it is a conventional headline used when a headline cannot be written or S cannot be written within one line. A line above the main line is a different or S half the size of that at runs more than midway compared to the main line in the in the headline writing. Now. When I talk about a kicker headline, this is whereby you are having two lines. One is cutting across, let's say, two columns, but you still have a minor headline, or else a minor line below the main headline. That line that appears at the bottom of the main headline, the second line of the headline, major cases written in small letters, we call it a kicker, a kicker headline. Whereby it is elaborating, or else it is telling us more about the main headline. Alright, the main purpose of Kika is to give us more information about what the main headline is talking about. So in major cases, it appears below the main headline to elaborate or else to give us more information about what the main headline is talking, is talking about. So you call set like a headline, a Kika headline. Or else you have a hammer, and you are saying a hammer is exactly opposite of a Kika. And when you are using a hammer, it is written in small type, is the... It's the main headline, whereas the kicker is the bigger type and usually in capital letters. Usually, hammer do not extend beyond one or two words. Now, hammer is whereby you are hitting the nail on the head. Maybe something important has happened and you want to notify your targeted audiences about what is happening. You are going to use a hammer headline. For example, let's say ABCD has died, or is confirmed dead. Or else someone may say Trump loses election. Those are three words. Trump loses election or as Joe Biden wins US election. So it is a very short headline and it goes direct to the point and the main purpose of using a hammer headline is to ensure that the readers are able to read the whole story or as to capture the attention of the readers that they can be able to go through the whole story that you are talking about. So you call it a hammer headline. Hammer is always in capital letter. It is always in capital letter in order to explicit the unfolding story or what is happening in the main story. Still you have a boxed headline and you are saying as a name indicated in frame it has a name indicated in the frame in a rectangular box. This type of headline is whereby you are coming up with the headline and you 
you frame the hairline in a rectangular box. No wonder it is called boxed hairline. You come up with a rectangle, then inside a rectangle, you write the hairline of the article, the story you are talking about. We call it a boxed headline. Still, we have what is called jump headline, and at a jump headline is whereby headline given to continue part of a story carried in some other pages as just as a jump. Now, when you are coming up with a jump headline, this is whereby the headline appears at the front of the page, but now the story is maybe in page four, or else it is on page five of the of the newspaper. So the reader is going to be attracted, or else you as a listener or as a reader of the story, you are going to be attracted to the headline and is going to force you to jump to that particular page so that you can be able to know what really transpired or else what really happened in the story we are talking about. That's why it is called a jump headline, whereby the story is on a different page from the main headline you are talking about. Still, we have we have what is called a blanket headline, or else a blanket, a blanket lid. Now, is a headline covering all columns occupied by a story or combination of related stories? So, just like a banner headline, the word banner, from the word even the banner itself is a bit large, the same applies to blanket headline, just like a banner, a banner, they are related headlines. And a blanket headline cuts across the whole page of the newspaper. We say that this one covers eight columns of the newspaper, but a blanket headline covers the whole page of a newspaper, whereby the reader is going to be attracted to indeed what will happen and want to follow up what transpired as a result of that particular story. Still we have a screamer. Now a screamer is a type of headline whereby it is either ending with a quotation or it's a question mark or exclamation mark. That's why you call it a screamer headline, whereby you as a reader, maybe it is a question, you're going to be uh, to have a question in your mind and you're going to be attracted to the story and you're most likely happen to read that particular article or that particular story. So it ends with, maybe with the exclamation mark, the question mark, or else at times someone may use a quotation. So I hope you are able to understand uh, most of these particular type of headlines. We are talked about indirect headline, direct headline, banner, kicker, hammer, box, jump, blanket, or skimmer. I do hope you are able to understand and contextualize the meaning of all these types of headlines and you are able to apply them in the real life situation. Thank you for your time. Let's meet next time at the same place. Thank you.